Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with another real life stock review from Real Life Trading Australia. I hope you guys are having an absolutely sensationally splendid Wednesday. Lots to talk about, uh, but before we get into that guys, let's have a look at the broader markets. So the SPY, we did get a very nice gap and go, which is a red candle gapping up, bearish candle gapping higher. And you can see a lot of people did get trapped and the market did continue higher. So the SPY, finding a new low, what I do expect is probably to trade up a little bit and then come back down, maybe create another lower low. That just makes the most sense. I don't think that we are going to just V bottom out of here, guys. I don't think that is going to happen. Very, very rare thing to happen. And especially with this uh, COVID-19 virus going around the world the the markets are hemorrhaging at the moment so definitely keep that in mind this is most likely going to be a short-term bullish move a lot of people closing out their short positions and then we probably look to roll over take a look at the e-minis the es the smp currently trading lower in the afternoon session as you can see we did create a significant low compared to back in 2018 late 2018 in December so where is our next level of support guys I mean if we do go any lower this is the previous resistance from back in 2016 so if we do come back to this level most likely we'll kind of just consolidate and then we'll see what happens from there but from here guys I do expect us to kind of come into the moving averages the shorter term moving averages and then look to roll over the volatility index the VIX as you can see we are sort of tapering off uh, don't think this is the end of it guys I do think that we will um, probably you know chop around for a little while uh, but the vo the volatility index index can see is quite high at the moment Let's take a look at a couple of day trades so Roku just Roku being a rocket once again huge amazing amazing little gain the last five days on Roku we did get some cute little inside day candles and a nice little break breakout small little retest and trade higher right now currently trading at 97.20 we did come back down to this particular support level uh, this particular support level right here I'll draw this for you we came back down to this particular support level right here based off these particular highs here and that support there and resistance just made a ton of sense to be starting to uh, accumulate at this particular price I do think we'll get another shot at this one guys we have got the 50-day EMA in the way as you can see so most likely we did get a little bit of an indecision candle here a little doji and I do expect us probably to roll back down and then kind of consolidate at this level before we do go higher Here's MU. Now, MU did report earnings and we did get a very nice gap up. Gapping up and trading into the 20 EMA made a lot of sense for people to take profits at this particular level as it is a resistance level. As you can see here, guys, once again, resistance, support, uh, resistance and support. And right now, I mean, it just makes a lot of sense to be hitting that 20 and fading with this was a retest gap which is a bullish candle gapping up and we are most likely going to come down and fill that gap uh, let's take a look at barber I did want to take a look at barber so barber is just consolidating at this level which is really really good most likely will be a little bit choppy at this particular price I don't expect us to break these lows just yet but these moving averages will act as a act as a resistance level for some time. If we do gap above there, I just think that most likely the 50 is going to come into play. And if you take a look at the longer term moving averages, we are hitting our head against the 200 simple moving average. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, Barber is probably going to consolidate here for a little while longer. Um, let's take a look at the overall markets for the all odds in Australia. So the all odds finding a little bit more strength after we kind of had this little bit of a sell-off 
and we are finding once again resistance here at the 5000 level you can see back here just four days ago we did sell off at this level and today we are selling off once again so the, the move is not very strong guys if you take a look at the five minute you can see we really just pushed up in the first 10 to 15 minutes and then we just sold off for the rest of the day so I mean right here guys it is following the broader markets with the e-minis the the SMP um, so I do expect the all odds to go lower um, most likely back down to the lows but it'll just take a little bit of time here's ANZ now ANZ obviously gapping up because of the overall markets as well and if you take a look at the shorter term moving averages we have just almost hit the 10 EMA most likely we'll come back down fill this retest gap and then consolidate for a little while longer here's Newcrest so Newcrest showing a bit of strength on the back of the gold move uh, gold moving higher we did trade up above the 20 EMA but we are still currently in this downward trend guys you can see we are slowly coming down lower so if we do trade up to the 50 I do expect us to continue lower so I'll definitely be looking out for that one uh, for a bearish play I do I can argue that this is a double bottom and we may retest out of here I just think gold is going to take a little while longer to to really go higher and we'll talk about that one in just a minute but CBA CBA getting a very nice gap up a lot of people selling out of fear um, after they're getting their gains on Tuesday but overall guys I mean look at the monthly chart on the monthly chart on the on the longer term moving averages we are still above the 200 on a monthly which is good to see last time we were down at this level was the GFC and we are holding up nicely we never even got a close below the 200 simple moving average back then and right now we are holding up nicely so as long as we can stay above this level guys above this resistance right here it just makes a ton of sense for us to consolidate give us a little bit of a wiggle room uh, as you can see we have had a lot of a lot of trading going on here just this month uh, and we've still got a few more days left to go on CBA but on the daily chart guys just very very choppy just look to buy low sell high if you are getting into some trades down here just probably look to take your, your profits very quickly as CBA most likely will come back down to these lows uh, let's take a look at crude oil so crude oil if you take a look at the shorter term moving averages uh, we did come back down to our, our support level at 2168 and we have been rejecting the 10 EMA for quite some time and most likely if we do get a quick push higher I do expect a nice rejection at that level so if you are a futures trader and you are trading crude definitely keep this on your watch list for a, a shorter position at 27.73 makes a ton of sense guys and gold as you can see we are creating once again a lower high we are getting a little bit of price rejection here if you take a look at the long-term moving averages we did bounce off the 200 simple I totally understand that I just think once again we're kind of going to have a little bit of a move like we had back in you know July through to September and then a little bit of a sideways move for a little while and then we'll get a little pop higher that to me just makes the most sense allow these moving averages to come in and give it a little bit more support and then go higher from there so that's gold and last but not least let's take a look at the Aussie dollar now the Aussie dollar did create some great lows last week and now we are just consolidating guys you can see here we have had some four bullish days in a row huge volume and currently trading at 59.80 on the monthly chart you can see we did come back down to this last previous low back in the 2000s so very very scary times however all in all uh, all in all we are most likely just going to chop around here uh, for a few months or so makes the most sense anyway guys if there is anything you guys want me to look at be sure to throw it in the comment section down below or come and join our Facebook group and better yet even join our trading room our trading room we have got from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time Monday Wednesday and Friday 
Uh, lots to talk about, lots to learn. If you want to hear me three hours a week at your home, full attention, then I then come and join our trading room and gain access to our community. All right, guys, that's enough from me. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade. I'll see you all soon. Bye.